There's an update that Asana recently made that's making me rethink how we plan our projects in Asana. So we all know that there are different views inside of Asana. We have our list, we have our board, we have calendars, timeline, and various other views. Now we have the Gantt view. But with this update, what they're doing is they're rolling out to different instances in Asana the ability to create custom views. And so when it came out, a lot of the information that I heard was around how to rename the views. Now we can add emojis to the views, but I think a lot of people were missing saying this. And if you are new to the channel, my name is Marquis. I am an Asana expert and I make videos like this to help you understand how to use your Asana better. Now, this might be an obvious update to some of you when I realized it. I Truthfully, I wasn't really paying attention. Um, I saw it. Great. We can rename them. No big deal. But then there was a, a, a switch that was made when we actually create our projects that made me start thinking differently about it. So I'm gonna show you what it is. To some of you, this might be obvious. You probably figured it out. It's not revolutionary. Um, it's something that a lot of other platforms have been doing for a while. Airtable's been doing it for a while. Notion's been doing it for a while. And so I'm gonna show you what that is because the, the, the tweak that we're gonna to make today is making me think differently about using sections inside of Asana projects. And maybe we don't have to start building our projects that way. Maybe we can use the different views and the configuration to think differently about how we approach our projects. So let's get into the demo. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by just creating a blank project and we're gonna call this one view demo. So as you know, and if you've been watching my videos for a while, Asana is constantly updating and changing and A-B testing a lot of things. So your Asana may not look just like mine. It may look a little different um, as far as the configuration goes. But in some instances, what they're doing now when you create this blank project is they just have the list view and all the other views have been removed. Now, it wasn't until I saw that change in my in my actual instance for our consultancy that I thought, oh, there's a different way that we can do this. And so what I'm going to do just for this demo, I'm going to delete all these other um, views here in your instance. You may have already had these deleted um, by default. And there's another quick update. If you didn't realize it, you can actually do this now. You can actually select. So if I go board, I'm going to do shift click on all of my um, instances here. Actually, I'm just gonna move this over here. And as long as you click and drag and highlight over the views, then all you have to do is snap your fingers and there you go, they're all gone and we can start. And when we start, you'll see that you just have the list view. So again, your instance might already do this by default. This one is still in the previous versions. What hasn't been updated in this demo space just yet. You'll notice even the overview is missing. So you'd have to go in to the plus and then you have to you know, select the overview that you, and then you move it over there. I think that should be there by default, but they're making us actually put it in because not all projects might need it. But in any case, I'm going to go through and I'm going to add in some tasks here. So I'm going to call this... Um, task one, I should really start populating these before. Maybe we'll just speed this up. I'm liking doing that now. There we go. So we've got all of our tasks in there now. And so what we would have done traditionally now is whatever these tasks are, we then create sections. We organize all of those different tasks into the sections. But what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pull in a random custom field. Let's just do one for status maybe. Let's choose from the library. Uh, let's see what I've got for status. Let's just go lead status again. It doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna pull this in. I'm going to shift select or click select a few of those. These ones are gonna be new lead. These ones right here are going to be active clients. Again, it doesn't matter what this is. Just figure out what your use case is and then apply it. So the point is that we're using custom fields now. And rather than setting up our sections, we can now filter the information we need into different views. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to um, sort and I'm going to say, we're gonna sort by lead status in this case, okay? So it's automatically giving us the different sections. See, it's created it for us. And then I'm gonna save that for everyone. Now I'm gonna to go to filter and I'm gonna add a filter and I'm gonna go by lead status here. So in this case, um, I'm gonna do one that is just for uh, new leads. 
like so. And then when I go to save it, I'm going to do save as new tab like that. And then this one is going to be called <laughs> new lead. All right. So now we've got our list view, which I'm going to actually going to rename to all or master view, primary view. I like that term better. There we go. So we've got our primary view. It's saved for everybody. Now we've got our, our new lead view. We're only seeing the, the sections that are tagged with the, the new lead custom field. Then we can do the same thing over and over again. So we can go lead status and we can see the ones that contain only active clients like so. And then we're saving this as a new tab. And then I'm going to rename this to active clients. So you can do this for just about anything, right? Now, when we're thinking about building databases, this is, I think, the first time we've seen Asana be able to do this, where we didn't have to multi-home to another project, where we're only showing certain custom fields and we're only using certain sections. Now we can have our primary view as our master database. And actually, I might do another video on this, but this is how our, our sales our deal pipeline is set up now inside of Asana. We have all of the different stages. So new lead, um, connect call booked, demo scheduled, proposal prepared, sent, one closed, all of that is filtered. And instead of the rules now being based off of the sections that the task is in, it's based off of the, the lead stage, I guess, in my case. And then it moves through that way. So again, this might have been an obvious thing, but it wasn't until I saw that they were moving the views where I, I thought for the first time, wow, this is something different that we can do. We can approach this a little bit differently and start thinking about our projects. So if you found that helpful, great. If you didn't, great. Um, but you can pass this video on to someone else who might uh, think that it is helpful. And as always, thank you so much for being here. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.